Hey everyone, it's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in Taipei, Taiwan. This is our final day in Taipei. We leave at about 4 p.m. Uh, so we are just out wandering around this morning and just stopped at a street food stall to get a Taiwanese breakfast. Normally we've been eating breakfast at our hotel because they give us breakfast every morning so we haven't needed to come and search for food in the morning. Uh, and so I wanted to come out and search for the big Chinese donuts, but I could not find any this morning. So instead I decided to stop for a pancake, an egg pancake. He took this flaky pancake which is looks very similar to a chapati or a roti and then he put he fried an egg onto the bottom side of it. So this is like a it's like a chapati sandwich but with but Taiwanese style and there are some scallions in this flaky pancake as well. That is oily, but does taste pretty good. The bread is uh, crispy on the edges, and then it's very gooey on the inside. Yeah, very similar to an Indian uh, roti or chapati. And, and then on the inside is an egg, a fried egg, with some kind of salty, very salty seasoning. And then also very common to eat in the morning in Taiwan is soy milk. And this one, he had it pre-packaged with the um, with a plastic cover over it, and I have no idea if it's sweet or not. And this one is served cold, so cold soy milk. Mm. Yeah, it's a little bit sweet, um, but yeah, it's very milky. It's good. Yeah, that's that is very tasty in the morning. It's 11.30 a.m. We just checked out of our hotel, homey house. That was, we had a great stay there, great service, and our room was really nice, and this is a good area to stay in, in Taipei as well. Uh, we are walking to the metro station now, and then we will go to eat lunch, and then after lunch, we're gonna head to the airport. We are getting off the metro at Dongmen Station and there's a restaurant just around the corner that I want to eat at for lunch. This is the restaurant we're looking for. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is exactly what I'm looking for. This one. On. Oh, this. We got to this restaurant, and it's a really classy looking restaurant. I love the wooden tables, and they have no menu, so you have to walk up to the front of the restaurant and choose. All the food is arriving. Uh, but yeah, they have no menu, so you either have to just pick and choose the dishes that you want from the big photos on the window or up there, or uh, you can just pick and choose the different ingredients that you want and they will just cook it um, however they want to cook it or however you order it. Most of the food has just arrived. We're just waiting on our fried milk fish to come. But before they brought the dishes, they brought over this little dish of what looks like just uh, sliced white onions and then in some kind of dressing. So I think this is a, like a starter. Those onions are so mild. They don't even have a harshness to them at all. And then that dressing is a little bit sour, and you can really taste the sesame oil as well. That's delicious. Oh, here is the milkfish. The milkfish has arrived. This is a vegetable, which is a fern. And I recognize this vegetable from eating it in Thailand many, many times. It's very popular in the south of Thailand. I'm not sure exactly how this is cooked. It looks just boiled and then topped with some kind of other vegetable and served yeah, like this and with just one little chili on top for decoration. So I'm not sure if you should, I guess I'm gonna eat it together. Mm. 
the fern to me tastes very plain, like it's just boiled. Um, so it just has a, just kind of a crispness to it. Uh, but I think all the flavor is coming from that, that vegetable on top, which tastes like it's been stewed and braised for a very long time. It almost has um, like an earthy, almost like a black tea flavor. And that combination, it's interesting. Interesting, but really good. And this one is another vegetable I saw up front and just ordered it. At first I thought it was garlic chives, but I'm not sure. It doesn't really look like that. Um, little bits of pork in here, and I can also see little little beans, which might be fermented beans, so it might have a little bit of a, a fermented bean flavor. Mm. Oh, I love that texture. Mm. Very, very crisp. Kind of like that crispness you get from taking a bite out of a green onion but even more crisp than that. Also got an omelet, which is one of the most beautiful, like, circular omelets that I have seen. It almost could pass for a pancake, a giant pancake. Oh, that is just, yeah, pretty, pretty. Put that onto my rice. I will break off a, break off a piece and eat that with rice. <laughs> oh, that's delicious. Oh, I think there might be radish. Radish in there because it has a it has kind of a radish texture of something in there. And maybe bits of pork in there as well as green onions. Oh, that's superb. Oh, that is comforting beyond belief. And then finally, one of the main reasons I wanted to visit this restaurant is to eat their milk fish, uh, which is a very popular type of fish to eat in Taiwan. And so the milk fish, this one, I don't know if it's deep fried or pan fried. It looks like it's pan fried, served with some pepper on the side, as well as this looks like pickled radish, and then calamansi, which are kind of like limes and oranges combined into a, into a little citrus. Well, I'm gonna put on a little bit of pepper that's provided, and just a tiny squeeze of the calamansi. Now eat that with some rice. Oh, that fish is extremely kind of firm and meaty. It's kind of like, kind of like tuna, uh, like cooked tuna, but even more like fleshy than that. And yeah, almost, almost milky, um, almost like creamy and juicy. Oh, it's so good. And just a little hint of a citrus flavor from that calamansi. That's like fish flavored jelly. Oh, that's good. There could hardly have been a better meal for our last meal in Taiwan. That was exceptional food. The milkfish was just incredibly delicious. So firm and kind of dry, but oh, I love it. I love it. Really happy to have eaten there on our last meal. And they still have a lot of dishes on the menu that look good that I wanted to try, but we'll have to wait till next time. But all I know is that that restaurant is gonna leave a lasting impression of Taiwan on my tongue and make me hungry to come back again sometime in the future. Ying has just stepped into the Sun Mary Bakery, which is a good place to buy the pineapple cakes, which are uh, little cakes filled with pineapple, uh, but they make a good gift from Taiwan, so just as a tip, if you want to go to Sun Mary to pick up some pineapple cakes, good spot. At Taipei Main Station now, Gonna go to buy our tickets on the high speed rail and I'm gonna try to use the vending machine. One way we are going to Taoyuan. Just in time, we made it to the train and got our tickets and then came onto the train and we should leave in a couple minutes. Uh, so we are on our way to the airport now.
train is pretty quick. It takes about 20 minutes. So we arrived at Taoyuan Station now. We gotta go upstairs and take the shuttle bus to the airport. We made it to Taoyuan International Airport and we are catching a flight on Philippine Airlines to Manila. We got checked in and we are now sitting at our gate waiting for our flight. It's been an amazing, I think 11 days total in Taipei and Taiwan. Uh, and I've made a vlog every single day, so I'll put them all into a playlist so you can watch the entire series. Be sure to check that out. Uh, but yeah, Taipei is just, I'm really impressed with Taiwan and how modern it is and how well functioning it is and just the mixture of modern and traditional culture. Uh, it's, just a, it's just a beautiful place. And the night markets, the food was definitely my highlight. Taiwan has the night market down to a fine art and have to have some of the best night markets in the entire world. So I would really encourage you, if you have a chance to visit Taiwan, I would highly recommend it. I'm gonna end this vlog for today here and I will restart the vlogs when I get arrived to Manila. Uh, but I wanna say thank you for watching this ending vlog in Taipei and please remember to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and I will see you on the next video.